I'm Tara Cordy Simpson, and welcome to the Biology 12 video on biomolecules. The key ideas that we're going to be discussing today are, number one, what are the molecules of life? Number two, what are the building blocks of the human body? And finally, what are the main chemical reactions in the human body? Now a little bit of vocabulary to go over before we get started, just to ensure that everyone can follow along. Starting with hydrolysis. Hydro, if you break it down, refers to water. And lysis refers to breaking. So hydrolysis can be defined as adding a water molecule to a compound, which results in splitting the compound into smaller pieces. Dehydration synthesis. So th synthesis always refers to making something. So smaller molecules are combined into a larger molecule by taking a water molecule out. The next word, monomer. Mono refers to one and monomers are small subunits or building blocks. An example would be glucose. Uh, polymer. Poly refers to many. Um, polymers are macromolecules made up of many monomers combined together to create repeating change. For example, glucose and glucose um, combine together to form um, glucagon. And finally, carbon. All biologically important molecules use carbon, the element, as the backbone or foundation of the biomolecule. Okay, let's get started. Organic chemistry. Why is carbon used, instead of another element like boron or phosphorus, as the basis for biological molecules? So there are some key points. Number one, carbon is very versatile. Number two, carbon is very abundant. You can find it in many places in the environment. And finally, carbon wants, in its chemical life, to make four bonds to become stable. So if we take a look at carbon here, and if you've taken chemistry before, then you know that carbon has four valence electrons in its outer shell. Therefore, it wants to make four bonds to become stable. So often, um, it joins up with hydrogens. So you can see here's a carbon making single bonds with hydrogens. And if I wrote out the chemical formula, or sorry, that would actually be, this would actually be a four, CH4. Um, now, these are all single bonds here that the carbon is forming with the hydrogens. Carbon can also form not just single bonds as represented here, it can form double bonds with two lines. So this here is a double bond. Carbon can also form triple bonds. That is one of the reasons why carbon is so versatile because it can form single, double, as well as triple bonds. Okay, let's move on to the four types of biomolecules that use carbon as its foundation. Beginning with carbohydrates, here is glucose, an example of um, a carbohydrate, a monomer. And carbohydrates are used uh, for energy in humans. And when many glucose combine together, they can form starch, as we find in plants. And if we wanted to look in foods to find an example of carbohydrates, we would look to breads and vegetables and pasta. So lipids is another type of biomolecule found in the human body. Some examples would be the saturated fatty acid, the monosaturated fatty acid, and glycerol. Saturated fats um, have many functions in the body that we're going to talk more about in depth, but one of them is insulation to insulate and also to cushion the organs. Um, some examples that we would find lipids in food would be olive oil as well as butter. Now on to proteins. Over here is a diagram of a protein. 
Proteins are very important because they are vital to building many parts of the human body, such as the hair and fingernails. They are also responsible for being able to contract the muscles in the body. The building blocks of proteins are amino acids. An example of where we would find proteins in food would be in meat, beans, or eggs, of course. And finally, nucleic acids. There's two types of nucleic acids. There's DNA and there's RNA. And here's a diagram here of a nucleotide, which is DNA. So DNA is responsible for carrying the genetic code and RNA is responsible for creating proteins in the body. And these proteins can be go on to be used as building blocks, but some of the proteins are also used as enzymes to facilitate chemical reactions that need to occur. So that outlines the four types of biomolecules. Let's take a quick look at some of the biochemical reactions that happen in the body. So the first one that I want to go over with you, uh, well, there's two types. There's dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. Let's begin with dehydration synthesis. So again, synthesis refers to making or creating something. As we look at this diagram here, down here, um, these, all these little bits here represent monomers. And remember, monomers are subunits or building blocks. So if we wanted to think of an analogy for monomers, we could imagine each monomer as a bead, a bead that we're going to use to create a necklace. So when we put all the same type of monomers together and take out a water and add a little bit of energy, what we end up with is a polymer. And a polymer is a complex uh, molecule. So looking here, you can see all the beads have been joined together with a bond. So now we have this lovely necklace forming the polymer. So the two important things we want to remember about dehydration synthesis is that it requires energy and the product is water. Now, if we wanted to think of an example that we could use from the body, um, we could say that these are all glucose monomers. So glucose plus glucose. And if it, a glucose, many glucose molecules go through dehydration synthesis, then we're going to end up with glucagon. And glucagon, or glucogen, sorry is used to store energy in the liver. Okay, let's move on to the second um, reaction here called hydrolysis. So remember, hydro means water and lysis means to break. So with hydrolysis, it's the breaking down of a complex molecule into um, smaller subunits. So the important things to remember here is that energy is released And the energy is actually released from each one of these bonds here as they're broken. And water is a reactant this time. So water is needed to make this reaction occur. And so the reaction is going to start on this side with our monomer. Oh, sorry. No, I meant to say this is our polymer on this side. This is our complex molecule. And when we um, start releasing the energy and add some water, hydrolysis takes place and all those bonds are broken so now we have all these monomers over here. 
So what would be an example of hydrolysis in our body? Well, when you eat starch, like pasta, some noodles for dinner, and the starch goes down into the digestive system, as the digestive system breaks down that starch into its subunit, its base molecule, it goes from starch and it gets broken down into glucoses. Glucose plus glucose plus glucose. And then the glucose can then go out into the blood, be carried to the blood, to the cells to be used by the mitochondria. So that takes us through the biochemical reactions, the two main ones. The, so there's two main ones, but you can see that they are both complement one another. So the monomers, when you want to create a complex molecule, get all added together. The water is taken out as a product. And then you have a polymer, a complex molecule. If you want to create monomers from a po polymer, then the water is a reactant and that needs to be added to the chemical equation. And then you end up with monomers. So there's four types of biomolecules that are important in life. So let's review the key ideas. The first one is carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and then nucleic acids. The next important idea that we went talked about is the important macromolecules in the body are constructed from monomers. So one monomer, such as glucose, plus another glucose, can fall, uh, create a polymer, glycogen. And finally, the two main reactions that occur in the human body are dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. And the most important point to take away from these two main reactions is that both of these reactions use water as either a reactant or a product. Again, highlighting how important water is to the chemical reactions that occur in the human body. So that summer it brings us to the end of our video for today. The next video we're going to go more in depth about the four biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about biomolecules. Thanks for watching.